Jordan this is Jordan Tower with JT News. Well, more life dropped yesterday from Drake. And of course, he took a few shots at Meek Mill. Okay, so when you when you listen to More Life, you might have come across the track Lose You. And in this, he says, all you did was write the book on garbage ass rollies, ego stroking, picture posting, claiming that you do it for motivational purposes only. And we all know Meek, it's, on his Instagram, he used to say, for motivational purposes only. And then he would post rollies, you know, you know, Rolls Royces, all that kind of stuff. But you just had to show me. See, I know because I study you closely. I know when somebody lying, okay? Drake's never going to stop dissing Meek Mill because Meek Mill came for him, tried to end him. As he said in that last interview, he said, this guy was trying to end my career, take all credibility away from me by saying that I had a ghostwriter. Now, in the 48 Laws of Power, and I hate quoting the 48 Laws of Power because so many people make it corny, right? But this is just life, okay? Now, if you read the 48 Laws of Power, you're not supposed to, like, live it verbatim. You take something from it and apply it. You know, you just, you know, it's it's things you should already kind of know with common sense or just by living life and having lessons, right? When someone shows you that they're your enemy and you destroy them, you keep them gone. You don't, you don't let up. You keep going, okay? Uh... Do not leave your reputation for chance of gossip. It is your life's artwork and you must craft it, hone it, and display it with care of an artist. Okay, so you have to protect your art. This is, uh, I don't know, I forget what law that was, but uh, that's from Robert Greene's 48 Laws of pa Power. Then he also said, uh, he said, uh, there's nothing, nothing more intoxicating than victory and nothing more dangerous. So Drake has to stay humbled. Okay, in this whole thing. And then he says, uh, so, and then and then I guess Meek was going at him when, he's, when he went, I'm strike the shepherd and the sheep will scatter. You know, he was trying to strike Drake, who was on top of the world at the time. Um, the future, the motto is no days on alert. So always stay on guard because Meek could, Meek's going to keep striking. And, you know, you don't want him to let in. You know, you don't want him to let, a ha let him have a win. And, uh... You know, you got to just destroy your enemy and keep them down, you know? Uh, you can't befriend them afterwards, you know? You got to kind of just keep them down and don't let them breathe, especially when they're trying to destroy you. So there's nothing wrong about that. Then Drake went on um, and, and can't have everything. He let everybody know that he knows he won that battle. Uh, they say, tried to see, serve me cheesesteak. I gave them back a clean plate. Uh, so he's basically, you know, <laughs> going at uh, Meek Mill even more. So, hey, we'll have to see, man. Uh, you know, I don't blame Drake for going in. You know, he actually befriended Meek, was there for Meek in the beginning of his career. And, you know, for someone to do that to you at one point in your career, try to take you out, you know, you got to you gotta make sure they stay down to a certain extent. You know, he, he, he also said in the interview that he didn't like having to do that because you know people were celebrating the fact that he was destroying someone else's career but he was kind of forced into doing that well, i appreciate you guys as always uh make sure you like comment and subscribe and i will check you on the next video jordan jordan tower Towers. films films jordan jordan tower Towers. films